Welcome to the ITU studio here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Dietmar Plessy who is the Senior Executive Officer for the Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy for Germany. Dietmar, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for receiving me here. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. Now, I wanted to ask you, you've been very much involved in, the, in, in all of the, uh, uh, the meetings here and all the, the plenaries and proceedings. I just wanted to find out, what do you see as the top challenges facing the union in the next few years? Well, I mean, there are many. Uh, of course, the first thing is that the union is uh, considered as being the top uh, ICT organization in the United Nations system. And uh, uh, this is, of course, a place to be defended. And I think uh, there are a lot of things pending uh, at present the plenary with regard uh, to internet-related questions and the role of the ITU uh, therein. Uh, you know that, uh, of course, in Europe um, we, have, we are of the opinion that the role should be limited, but of course uh, we are not of the opinion that there should be no role. So to find the right uh, equilibrium the balance uh, is, is, is a challenge on the political level. And then, of course, you do have challenges, which we will probably address later, uh, in terms of administration and management. And there were some decisions taken here in my Committee 6 uh, to undertake studies, for example, uh, on regional presence. That's one example. On ITU Telecom. And this will be, of course, uh, uh, these studies may challenge uh, the present way it's done. And then uh, it's always difficult, I know, to convince member states to change. You were chair here of Committee 6. I just wanted to find out how, how, was, that? how was that experience? Uh, for me, it was a great experience, a great honor. Uh, first, to be selected uh, by my regional group, uh, Europe. Uh, second, of course, at my ministry, despite uh, the fact that we are a small delegation, at least uh, for our country, allow me to do it. Uh, they suffered a lot because I was not available for the delegation at all. I fully concentrated on chairing committee six. It was, I guess, uh, relatively successful. We had un one issue coming to the, uh, to the plenary here and it was solved this morning. So I'm totally uh, satisfied. Excellent, that's very good news. Now th this plenipotentiary conference has seen calls to modernize ITU, you talked about that a little bit before. Uh, where do you think that ITU could make the biggest strides? Uh, I mentioned already that, that uh, uh, there is a problem at present with ITU Telecom, uh, which is of course not the main activity of, of ITU, but it was a very attractive one uh, many many years ago. Uh, there are attempts to come to this level again, it will be very difficult, even it will be impossible, but of course the situation should, should improve. Uh, we have uh, revised the relevant resolution 11 in my committee. Among others, uh, uh, there will be an independent advice from outside uh, to try to find the right place for ITU Telecom in the ICT environment in order to become more successful, attract more exhibitors and attract more participants for the forum. And the ITU member states, of course, which you are involved with one, uh, have just resolved to strengthen ITU's regional presence. What does that mean and what, what benefits should one expect to see? Yeah, this is a difficult area and it's a, a second area where I, I see a room for improvement. Um, the relevant resolution 25 that we revised in committee 6 uh, now calls uh, for staff uh, to be in these regional offices with, knowledges, with knowledge of all the three sectors of the union. Uh, I'm personally convinced a single person is not able to have this uh, and this is a, a big concern. There are now many years ago uh, Germany and others uh, made a proposal to strengthen the regional presence in order to centralize more staff at uh, the regional offices, so to have a larger team. Uh, but of course, uh, this would then, say, uh, well, in order not to have uh, uh, a lot more uh, costs for the ITU, that means you have to close uh, the area office or some of the area office. This was challenged by uh, the countries in the respective regions. They didn't want to close the area office, but I see this as the only possibility to have sufficient knowledge in the regional presence if you concentrate uh, a greater number of staff 
with all the expertise uh, that is available in the ITU in, in, in a regional office, uh, that what is going to happen afterwards, of course, they have to travel a little bit more in the region, uh, but I think it's worth to think about. But again, uh, we, have, uh, we have decided that there should be a review of the regional process, and of course, we, we will have to wait about the results of this review. I already talked with the uh, director PDT elect uh, on this issue and uh, she reacted, uh, I think, positively with regard to this idea, also knowing that it's very difficult to, to realize. You've uh, uh, been at a number of ITU events, obviously, over the last uh, few years. I just really wanted to find out from you, how does, uh, how does this compare? Has this been relatively smooth? Uh, well, uh, we are not at the end. Uh, so, uh, the plenary uh, now ongoing may end up in, in a similar situation that we had at the WTDC 17 last year in Buenos Aires, which was not the most pleasant experience we had in, in, in ITU conferences in the past. Uh, but uh, uh, the chairman is very able, trying to uh, push people to consensus. And as I mentioned at the beginning of my committee, uh, it's a high value, uh, the principle of consensus in the ITU. But of course, if you want to maintain this principle, then there is another issue, that is compromise. Otherwise, uh, you will not find consensus. So, <clears throat> I think the chairman of the conference is exactly on this path. And I'm optimistic that uh, the conference as such will be a success at the end. Well, let's hope so. Dietmar Plessy, well, thank you for joining us in the studio, for sharing some insights from behind the scenes at this plenipotentiary conference, and we hope to catch up with you again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.